Well, a new law takes effect to clear Honolulu sidewalks of shopping carts and camping tents, but it's having little effect on Honolulu's homeless population. KITV4's Paul Drews is here to explain why. Paul? Well, because while there is now a law banning personal property on sidewalks pretty much all day, it's not being enforced, and it'll take at least a quarter of a million dollars of city money to do so. Seven-year-old Kylie Trang just learned to ride her bike without training wheels, and her dad is glad the sidewalks will soon be clear for her and her sisters to ride safely at this popular Honolulu Park. I like to have my kids to go out and exercise, you know, rather than just staying home and watch TV. So um, this is a way for them to run around and, uh, you know, you know, um, spend their energies. But right now, some pedestrian zones are still cluttered with tents and shopping carts, even though the new sidewalk ban has begun. One of the reasons Honolulu police have not been enforcing the new law is that sidewalks that belong to the city must first be clearly defined. This law only uh, is effective in city-owned property, and that's why we have to define what is exactly city-owned property. It doesn't apply to federal, state, and private property. And so that's why we have to uh, take some time, as you can imagine, covering a couple of hundred blocks, trying to define what exactly is city property. Instead, Honolulu police have been passing out flyers to inform homeless campers of the new law, requesting they move on before enforcement takes place. Where will the homeless go? To available shelter space, according to the city. But many who live on the streets aren't willing to give up their lifestyle for a roof over their heads. A lot of them are so used to, to this life that, you know, and they have a lot of, what they want to do is on their own is, you know, that shelters cannot provide, you know, because if you, you cannot drink or, you know, you cannot, whatever they want to do, you know. Homeless campers have been moved on before from other bills passed into law, and some feel this new ban will free up sidewalk space, but not make a dent in Honolulu's homeless population. It's a worthy effort trying to keep the sidewalk usable for pedestrians, but um, it's still at the same time, I don't think it really addresses the, the real problem. The city is now spending $250,000 to study which sidewalks are city sidewalks, so police know before writing tickets. There's no deadline for when that study will be done, but police may begin limited enforcement in already defined city parks soon. Laura? All right, thanks, Paul.